Well, good morning, everyone. My name is Maddie Stream. I'm going to do your June the 25th, just for today, in a meditation. I hope you're doing well this morning. Let's go ahead and get into that meditation. If you need to reach me, feel free to do so at recoveryofhope21 at gmail.com or leave a comment down below. And as soon as I see your comment, I will respond. The title of today's meditation, Not Just Lucky. I agree with that before I even read it. Not Just Lucky. The process of coming to believe restores us to sanity. The strength to move into action comes from this belief. That comes from the basic text, page 25. Coming to believe is a process that stems from personal experience. Each of us has this experience. All addicts who find recovery in NA have solid evidence of a benevolent power acting for good in their lives. Those of us who are recovering today, after all, are the fortunate ones. Many, many addicts die from our disease never to experience what we have found in Narcotics Anonymous. The process of coming to believe involves a willingness to recognize miracles for what they are. We share the miracle of being here clean. And each of us has other miracles that await only our acknowledgement. How many car accidents or overdoses or other near catastrophes have we survived? Can we look back at our lives and see that we were not just lucky? Our experience in recovery, too, gives us examples of a higher power working for our good. When we can look back at the evidence of a loving higher power acting on our behalf, it becomes possible to trust that this higher power will continue to help us in the future. And trust offers us the strength to move forward. Just for today, my recovery is more than coincidence. My strength comes from the knowledge that my higher power has never let me down and will continue to guide me. Let's take a moment of silence followed by the we version of the serenity prayer. Moment of silence now, please. Thank you. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference just for today. Please and thank you. Not just lucky. I think most of us listening to the podcast this morning, we, we're we grateful. We have an awareness that there's a benevolent power that has acted for our good. As this meditation says, there's so many other miracles that only await our acknowledgement. To me, that says they've already taken place. They have already happened. My frame of mind, my level of gratitude, and oftentimes my quality and sometimes quantity because meditation just takes a moment to sit still and really think about all of the beautiful things that have happened as a direct result of a benevolent power acting on my behalf. It doesn't take that much. And so to be able to say, yeah, I, I'm, a, I'm the result of a miracle. Uh, I was headed in one direction and then all of a sudden there was this yearning, this pulling in my spirit to do something different. And it had been there before, but never strong enough for me to act on or maybe whatever else it was that I was doing and into carried more weight and value to me. But all of a sudden, my life, 
the, and the people in my life began to mean more to me than what they had done previously. Or maybe it was a nudge from a judge that got you here. But something happened. Something happened. And in that moment, there was a turning around of your affairs. And all that was left for, do, for you to do was to acknowledge that that something else was taking place. Today, what we need is to remember that our recovery is more than just a coincidence. And that our strength comes from the knowledge of our God. That our God, individually, corporately, but individually, more importantly, has never let us down. And some people would beg to differ with that. You know, I was just sharing the other day about losing my sister and how that feels sometimes, how that feels. But if I look at situations very, very closely, I'll find that God didn't let me down. I put God down. Does that make sense? My higher power didn't let me down. I put my higher power down. And when I look at things from that perspective and then I allow others to assume the responsibility for their own scenarios, I have an awareness that increases my faith that everything's going to be okay. Every I have so many stories that I could share with you where I was worried about one thing and then all of a sudden it was revealed to me that that thing that I was worrying about was no longer even in existence in some situations. No longer even in existence. Or the thing that I thought I needed to do just fell apart and I, I no longer had to do it. But yeah. I mean, the world is encouraged by my effort, right? My sense of responsibility. But in many instances, the things that I worried about doing or having to do or being just disintegrated without my doing. So they were taken out of my way, taken away from me, removed not even pushed further down the road, like a bill that might be due on a different date than I thought. No, 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 no. I'm talking about completely removed from me. Family, my name is Mighty Stream, and today I know you're going to go forward in the day with gratitude, that you're going to remember that you're not just lucky. Some of you out there might feel that you're just lucky, but when we say not just luckly, lucky, we mean that there's more to this beautiful life that we're living than just luck. I will never rest my laurels on luck. I have gratitude today. So I want for you to have gratitude today too. And I want for you to have a beautiful day on purpose. I will be talking to you tomorrow.